Okay, so today we're gonna start Sonic Adventure. The original for the Dreamcast. I really like this game, and I've played it since I was a little kid, so... Yeah, this... this will be fun for me. This was not my first Sonic game. My first... what was my first Sonic game? I, I read the comics before I played any of the games. I think it might have been Sonic Adventure 2. I do know I got this... I got DX for the GameCube and Gems Collection the same day. I think it was for a birthday. But yeah, this is the original. This is even older than the one I played as a kid. And I got this later in life. And yeah, I, I, I honestly do prefer this one. Just visually, I do prefer this one more than the DX version. And this is being played on my Dreamcast right now. I got my Dreamcast controller with the VMU screen and all that on it. It's, uh... I always find this very interesting of a console. I like it. I like the Dreamcast a lot. Just kind of going to let this play out. I, I like this intro. So yeah, uh, for the third and final time, this is the original Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast. I'm playing this through a 4K capture card and using an HDMI converter. Select a memory card. So I can capture this. Select a file. Uh, was it the other VMU that has my... So Select a file. Yeah, this one has all the saves. This was the one I used for testing stuff out, but yeah, here's my old stuff. As you can see, six hours. This whole game is not too long if I rush through it. I'm actually going to turn the audio down on what I'm hearing in my headset because it's actually kind of loud. I think that'll do. Alright, so now everything's good on my end, so let us begin! In all honesty, I'm probably... This is probably going to be like my most zen playthrough in a while. I'm probably not going to monologue a whole lot like I normally do for the majority of the stuff I uh, play through. Select I'm probably just going to focus on the game quite a bit. And immediately you can tell this is not the DX version because it uses the original models. Uh, I honestly think that these look more appropriate. The other models, yeah, they're a higher quality, but these are... It, once you get into the game and you see like the facial animations and like the this game is notorious for the weird facial animations but once you get in the game and you see the facial animations plastered on these models it kind of makes a little more sense it's still not as great but it makes more sense as to why they look the way they do in like DX which 90% of people have played and have not played this version because I, I've said I think I said this in the interactive demo disc as well that I did last time. But I'll just reiterate it because this is part of this series of this series of Sonic Adventure for me. But 90% uh, of people have pretty much played Sonic Adventure DX and that includes the Steam version, the Xbox 360, Xbox One. I'm not even sure if it's on the PlayStation Store or not, but uh, virtually all versions of Sonic Adventure are the DX version. The only version that has the original models the original textures for a lot of the environment. A lot of the environments are, especially the hub worlds, look very different texturally than they do in Sonic Adventure DX. It's all the same geometry and the same layout. They're just like different colors and they're different textures. Everything just looks a little different. And I think that in and of itself, just just all this, this the art direction in this game, I like a lot. 
I like it more than DX's where things look a little higher res kinda in some of the in some of the textures they use, but it, a lot of them feel a little more washed out. There's a lot more vibrancy in this game. Regardless, I, I'm just giving... I'm rambling at this point, so may as well just start into the game. Let's get em. It's the first series of the year. I'm starting off 2021 with Sonic Adventure of all things. Personally, that's fantastic to me, but... This game is kind of a love-hate thing for a lot of people, I guess. One day I'll probably play... maybe even after this, I'm not sure, but... Soonish, maybe I'll do Sonic Adventure DX just to show it off. I won't play through the whole thing. Oh, yeah. This is happening. This'll be a full playthrough though. Uh -huh. Like immediately you can all already see all the different textures here. These are all different than DX. What's up? The whole town and everything, all the lights. Sonic himself. It's just I don't know, I, I it's the same game that I grew up with, but it just looks older and it looks nicer, honestly. It has more charm to it with this. Chaos. You are completely surrounded. Surrender yourself. Oh, and a lot of things that look like they don't work in DX actually work here like they're supposed to. The South Korean animation company that Sega hired to redo it for DX screwed up a lot of shit in DX, including some of the facial animations, some of the... Some of these... They couldn't really port some of these effects over to the GameCube for some reason. Like, that, that flash effect itself ended perfectly, and all their voice lines are synced up correctly. The lights on the cars right there aren't really visible in DX. It's a lot of small, minute things that were really not done well with DX overall is another reason why- like the shining effect on the police cars and such. The metal effect. It's just like, mmm. Mmm. I like this. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, Chaos. He's gonna start jumping, or is he gonna do something else? He's just gonna rise up again? Nope, he's gonna start jumping. I find this technique also very strange and interesting for the point of view here. They got rid of the floor. You could see for the brief moment the scene transition, but they got rid of the floor and they have the camera underneath the floor looking up at him. So, uh, there's some creative techniques here. There we go. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. I'm gonna try to not skip the cutscenes because I I've heard these a million times and I don't need to hear them, but I may Come as well on, for this. Drip. Where you going? I'm also going to try not to talk over them, if I can. <laughs> there he know, is. Nothing, fool. It's, it's chaos, chaos the, the god, god of, of destruction. destruction. <laughs> they didn't bother changing Eggman's model for DX. I, there's two models I don't think they did anything to. I don't think they did anything to Big. And I don't think they did, like, when, Big, when you see Big around, like in Station Square and such, I don't think they changed his model for that. And Eggman, I don't believe they changed his model at all in any scenario. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the... That shoe is not kind of clipping correctly with his huh? socks. What? Tails. Well, watch yeah, out! You're, you're gonna, gonna crash. crash! Ah! That face, the iconic face. Tails. Now, ah, what am I gonna do with you?
Yeah, the face, the faces and expressions in this game. I honestly did, like, I had played Sonic Adventure 2, Super Mario Sunshine, Wind Waker at the time of this, and growing up with games like Ski Free and Jimmy Neutron on PC and Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets and such, uh, I honestly didn't mind the faces in this game as a kid. As an adult, I still don't mind, honestly, even nearly 20 years later. And to me, it just is charming. It's 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 that same kind of charm like uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion or Morrowind has. It's just like, it's dated, yes, but I understand why it is as it is. And when you think about when this came out, it, it's fine. It's totally appropriate. I always look at... I look at games as a timepiece when there's something like this, where they came out at a specific time. So, you generally just have to look at it from the technical limitations present. Like, Half-Life hadn't... I believe Half-Life may have came out the same year. And that kind of has the same facial animation quality as this, although it's not as expressive. It's just, like, kind of Muppet... Up and just puppet mouths. It's just that. This game tried doing a little bit more with weird expressions and cartooniness and such, so... I don't know, I, I'm, I'm totally fine with the uh, facial animations in this this game. DX kind of weirded things out because when, when the company that was hired in to remaster a lot of the assets for DX... I'm going to pause for this because I want to do level and focus on that, but... When the company that came in to redo it for DX, they kind of just... Pla they made the new model but then just kind of plastered it onto the skeleton of the existing models, so then you still have the weird facial animations distorting this higher quality model, and it doesn't really work as well as just using the original model. All right, time to... Time to breathe some air because I have a problem with not breathing while I'm talking and I talk for like five minutes at a time. Uh, I'm stuck in that, that's unusual. And actually play the game. Ah, oh, come on, Sonic, don't hold mine on that. Yeah, you're not gonna hear me talk a whole lot during a lot of the stages because I'm gonna be focusing on these. Sonic, you always get stuck on geometry in this part of the level, just like the smallest things. Okay, here we go. We got the run, we got the run. Sometimes you can fall off this if you don't get the right speed. Alright. It's virtually impossible to fall there. Here comes a fun little skip. Saves a couple seconds. Jump on panel number one. It will take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you Also, if so you some if you so I don't think you will, but if you somehow hear the Dreamcast revving in the corner, it's because it's near my desk. And it's just uh kerchurking itself around trying to render what's going on in the game. Dreamcasts are yes. notoriously loud. It's funny because I always hear people bitch about the PS4 being loud. I've never, both my original model and my Slim I have now have never been loud. Yeah, not bad. Maybe people just got dusty homes or something. <laughs> if anything, the Xbox One is a monstrously loud beast. It's about as bad as a Dreamcast. As for quietest, I think the Wii U might be the quietest system I have. Hey Sonic! Long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype propulsion system. It's got a few bugs to iron out. 
Why not just use my plane, the tornado? Thanks, but you gotta check out my newest power supply. Ta-da! Whoa! A Chaos Emerald! Yo! Yep, I just happened to find one of the seven emeralds during one of my test flights. It just happened to. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharge! Tails, that's like putting a nuclear reactor in your biplane. It ain't gonna turn out well. It's in the Mystic Ruins, the fastest way by train. Let's go! Alright, let's go, man. Gotta keep what? You know, play with Tails. So now we've unlocked Tails' story. I, I always like that about this game. It's like, once you meet the character, then you unlock their story mode and you can swap out. I find that very interesting, and oddly, that's not a super common thing in games. Like, not that there's a whole lot of games like this where you can choose from multiple main characters and have their own stories. There's only a couple games that I can recall that are like that, really. Especially with this many different story modes. But just, like, meeting a character and being like, hey, now you can play their game. It's just like, oh, cool. Okay, so the police are blocking off over there. I, don't, I know that there's a way to get past this. I don't know... I did it at one point. You can, like, get past... This invisible wall only goes a certain height. And I'm not sure how I did it back then. I can't really get on... Ooh. Maybe? Mm, nope, still too high. I know that that wall has a certain limit above it, but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get past it. Honestly, thinking about it, I'm not sure if the, the police should be there in Tails' story as well. So I have a feeling they put the wall high enough to where you can't fly up with Tails over it either. So I don't think it's really possible with Sonic unless you glitch it pretty hard. But uh, yeah, I, I know that there's some way to do it. Some way. Either a glitch or some sort of bypass. Anyway, let's head to the Mystic Ruins kick Eggman's ass. The train headed for the, the Mystic Ruins, Ruins will be departing soon. soon. Caught at mid-sentence. There's a emblem up over here. Get that early. Yeah, like the whole train station's a different color. All these wall textures, the floor. These guys look even more low poly. <laughs> the train itself isn't blue like it is in the DX version, it's red. It's just all these weird different texture changes that I don't understand. Why, why did they bother doing it? It's not like these were really low quality textures or anything. And honestly, an amount of them in DX just kind of looked a little shittier. Like, here, here's one that, if, if anyone hasn't seen Sonic Adventure, the original, will be like, whoa is Mystic Ruins. Look at this. It's so much more vibrant. And Angel Island is drastically different. Just like this grass texture. I like this emerald green grass texture. They have all these trees here that are a bright green. Like, it's so saturated, but it looks good here. And I'm not really one for saturated graphics, but th this all fits wonderfully. It feels more jungle-esque. If it isn't Sonic! Q, one of the best songs in the game. The giant talking egg. Silence. I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world. Whatever you say, Eggman. Enough! I've got six plans. And now I'm gonna put them to work. You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds. Better not interfere! Or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! Ah, uh, yes, you're gonna get some extra boosters on the back of your booster seat. That's gonna help you. I'm move my mic a little down. Yeah, that, that... This is the easiest boss in the whole game. 
I'm gonna do this, and it's gonna look so easy compared to the normal way where you, you you're supposed to like hit him and run, over, then get away and run around and try to dodge him and such from the missile attacks he does. I don't do that. I I don't. Uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, I love doing this because it's like really this is the first boss. This is the first boss of this game. It's almost like that Goma enemy in Wind Waker for Dragon Roost, the final boss. It's just like, it's so easy. Yep, boss done. All you do is spam him. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. It's trying. The Dreamcast is trying to load it. <laughs> there it goes. Well, that wasn't so hard. Aha! Tails, look out! Oh no! Yes, uh, rub the floating emerald. Honestly, Eggman looks pretty decent in this game. He's pretty low poly, but he looks good. I think if they just gave him, like in like in Sonic Adventure 2, I think they figured it out. They kind of just needed to give him like little slits for teeth separation. And I think it would have turned out a little bit better for his model in this game. He looks fine as is, but I think if they just gave him little lines for teeth, it would look a little less uh, cheap. <laughs> He'll work for you! We'll destroy Station Square. And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city. Uh huh. I will rule it all. Uh huh. Come on, Chaos. Let's find another emerald. This bozo doesn't know that in the next 20 years, he's still not going to be able to do this. He almost does in Sonic Unleashed, but. But even that no we screw way, up. Tails. Without more emeralds, the monster can't transform. So it's up to us to get the emeralds before Eggman does, huh? Yes, Tails. Great detective work, Tails. You, uh, you're a genius. All right, so get the key. Oh, come on. Actually, I think I'll get the uh, the if I can get on the sign here. Come on, Sonic. Ah! Come on, dude. Dude, stop glitching into the floor, man. There we go. Finally. Okay. Okay, I gotta line this up. And hope the momentum can carry me. Yep! There we go. That is always a very risky thing to do sometimes. Well, I, I normally nail it, but I'm just like, if I fail, I'm just like, ah, oh, shit. Whew, I almost fell off the map there. I'm kind of taking a look around. Yeah, they, I'll say they... They, I guess they did. I'm, actually, if I'm remembering right, I think they did fix this texture for the landing pad, the launch pad for Tails' biplane. I think they rounded this off with grass up here at the top so it doesn't have a giveaway that this is not actually a hidden thing. Whatever. Alright. So, head over to Windy Valley. If the Dreamcast can... Oh, no, nope, it, it did that one faster than uh, the cutscene. I was going to say, if it loads that fast enough...
straight up. You should be able to get out of the tornado. Uh, yeah, so it's 2021 now. I may as well talk about that. It's a new year. Nothing's different so far. <laughs> and I had a good new year. It was good. Pretty chill. Pretty relaxed. And I've mainly just been thinking about the plans I have for this new year. And trying to forget last year as best as I can. <laughs> I did get a good amount of some decent stuff for Christmas, and, like, before Christmas and such. <laughs> but I'll probably talk about that in a little bit, just go over a few interesting things that I got, and some things that I may end up playing on the channel at some point, or sooner or later. Skip that. Now with Tails in this level, I like a lot more because you can kind of just fall with them off all and skip all these platforms if you want. All you really have to do is try and stay within the allotted space that the game wants you to be in, and you won't hit any kill planes. But uh, with Sonic, you kind of... Yes. For as much as I've played this game, I've kind of just stuck to running along it. Yeah, not bad. I guess I could talk about a few things I got for Christmas then, now that I'm just looking at my room like uh, my stuff's still in a pile in the corner because <laughs> it's been a week and I haven't really sorted through a lot of it. Just like, oh, I opened the presents, okay, we're done here. Uh, one of the things I got was the Red Dead Redemption 2 original score. I own the original soundtrack already, like all the music, the music made for the game. This is the score, the background soundtrack of the game, so all the instrumental stuff. And I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm looking really forward to it. Two of the records I did get that, two of the other records I did get that I have listened to would be, I finally got my own copy of Romantic Warrior from Return to Forever. That is a fan, probably the pinnacle of jazz fusion and albums for the 70s. That is a fantastic album. Majestic Dance is like one of, one of the best instrumental songs I've ever heard. Uh, da, 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 da. I need to go in the sewer first before I can get that Sonic stop spazzing out. Uh, maybe I do need to get the... The light shoes now? Because the light ring I get after the light shoes. I know that there's a way to clip through that door to get the light ring early, but I'm just like, eh. I'm not really the mood to fiddle about with glitches. Uh, yeah, it's open. Let's go in. There's another random weird thing. They they changed the position of the light shoes in the DX version to be right well, there at the doorway. And in the original, it's right here, just a couple feet away from power. it. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you Yes, to call. I'm I'm good. Speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. All right, to call. Ready? So long to charge up with the light shoes. Go. It's open, Sonic. Door stuck. All right, so let's go get the light ring so we don't have to wait forever for him to charge up a dash.
I will say, it's so dark in here, Mr. Hotel Guy. Shouldn't you guys, like, have lighting in here? It's, it's nighttime. Put your lights on. Whoa, 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 I hit the- I hit the button, it made the sound. Ready? If I- if I lose this while walking up the stairs... Okay, he didn't lose it, I'm surprised about that. Okay. Ooh, okay. There we go. This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. And it is a godsend. And is the last important power up for Sonic in this game. Not really, but to, in my opinion it is. Okay, let's do the casino. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. I'm also aware that I've seen plenty of speedruns of this game, so I'm also aware that they're aware that there's a way to just kind of glitch in to this area. I don't think I can do it. I don't think I'm gonna try for half a second. Mm, get me up here. Because there's a barrier that blocks you up there. So I'm just like, Sonic Sonic can be a little slippery sometimes. And these camera angles are about as good as Mario 64. I don't think, because the collision's weird in this room. I don't think I'll be, I'm gonna skip it. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend 40 minutes trying to break the game. I'd rather just do this a bit normally. Okay, so where... let's do Knights. Let's do Knights first. Another album I listened to for Christmas that uh, I had gotten is the full album release of Song Machine from Gorillaz. And I gotta say, that is a... Oh shit. That is a fantastic album. I like the way that Damon spliced up the various random songs he made throughout the year and actually made a pretty cohesive album out of it. I think that album is going to be one that a lot of people remember 2024 in a uh, kind of nostalgic, thank God that this happened kind of way. Because <clears throat> it was a treat getting these really good songs randomly throughout the year. But uh, having the full album is a very nice collection of it. This is probably the most boring, in my opinion, this is probably one of the most boring parts of the whole game, this is this pinball thing. Because this whole thing, you're, you're just getting money. You're really just trying to get money so you can get the Chaos Emerald. Like, it's a neat attempt at trying to divvy up the gameplay, and I'm fine with it because of that. It's very different than the rest of the game. It's just, uh... After a while of doing this, you kind of just start to feel like you're wasting a bit of time. Pinball's fun and all, but... 
It's not the most uh, exciting of games. It is engaging because you got to pay attention. But your main thing is just trying to keep the ball from not falling into the pit. Crap. Also having no luck in getting up into the back part of this pinball board. Ah, oh, crap. Huh. I was wondering what- I still don't know exactly what the requirements are for the pinball boards to throw you into the... Like, th like, there's a sewer section, and I'm not sure exactly what the requirements are to get into that. Let's try the Sonic Pinball board. I normally have a lot more luck with this board. Okay, that's open. It is weird because, technically speaking, and I said this last time in the multi-game thing as well because I was just kind of summing up the year and what was going on, but uh, it is weird remembering how this... I think the last time I played this game was the stream I did for it, which is technically my first stream I've ever done back in like early or mid-September 2018. This game was... Technically the first game I ever played for content, but I, I count everything. I, I count my beginning Really with Breath of the Wild in February of 19 Dismissing also the Breath of the Wild stuff I did before I did that in October I did like two or three streams of it back then None of this is saved anywhere, none of it's cataloged anywhere, so it is lost for the ages. Not that it was very interesting to begin with, because I didn't have a mic at the time, and my capture card was kind of crappy. So it really was just, for this game, it was me just playing through Sonic's story. I think it was like two hours, maybe? This game isn't long. And I think it took me about two hours to get through Sonic's story at the time, and... I do remember there was just one guy watching, and at the end of it all, they just said, uh, GG. <laughs> that happened... that happened more frequently than I... than I probably give credit for, just, uh... Like, I'd be playing Sonic Team Racing or something, and, uh, someone would just say GG at the end. Just like, okay. I think the... I'm probably misremembering. I think the amount of rings I need is 500. Lovely. No, we still didn't... Uh... Whoa, I fell through that. Okay. How many rings do I need for this thing? Was that it? That was it. Okay. Yes! Nice camera. Yeah, not bad. Just Sonic's foot. But yeah, Sonic Adventure is a shorter game. It'll be fun to play through. I'm also going to start a Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness soon enough. <laughs> And Mafia Definitive Edition should be happening as well. I think I'm going to play through all of this before I start anything else, yeah. though. <laughs> just just so I can have my fun with this, specifically. Oh no, the Chaos Emerald! Oh no, you don't! Oh, jeez! Ah, he shot Purple Flurp at us. Amen. 
egg man. Ooh, what was that dust you sprayed at us? It was silver nitrate. You are now blind. Oh, man. What happened to that emerald we just had? I don't know, man. That party last night was wild. I guess Eggman's got one of them. But the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not... Sonic good. is floating. Come on, Sonic. We need to get busy. <laughs> Sonic is floating. Uh, you still... Oh, 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 once I moved, he fell down. Okay. Good, uh, good object placement, Sega. A floating hedgehog. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Another thing that does not appear in this game is that oftentimes a cutscene would kind of shift perspective and show cream flying through the sky. That was, I believe, to promote Sonic Advance 2, I think it was? It was either 2 or 3? I don't remember when those games came out. I, well, they're the early 2000s, but I believe they only added Cream in to promote those games. She's not in this game. So you'll never have a cutscene just kind of show cut, uh, Cream off in the distance, just kind of flying for no reason. I was always curious about that as a kid because I'm just like, okay, is that an unlockable character? Can you interact with them or anything? No, Cream is literally just in Sonic Adventure DX as a cameo. She has no purpose at all. And she's not even present in this version. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, oh, I gotta see that again. I saw Tails as, uh... This is not... This is, once again, kind of bringing up Elder Scrolls since I said it has that kind of charm to it. This is not the most stable game in any respect. It's not entirely broken, but, uh... Like, you'll notice... Out there in the distance, you can see Tails' uh, workshop, and some of the assets are loaded, but not all of them. The building itself is not there. <laughs> so, yeah, there's some. There's a lot of quirks to this game I enjoy. Now, out of all the areas that have, like, out of all the areas that were stripped down to their bare bones in the remake, in the port to the GameCube with DX and such, Angel Island had the most obvious thing done to it. And it'll be noticeable pretty much immediately. I also forgot to bring the key with me from the alley alleyway to get into this place, but yeah. Actually, is this open yet? It is not open yet. So never mind, we'll just, uh, we'll just go back to Station Square, grab the key, and come back here. The train headed for Station, Station Square, Square will be departing, departing soon. soon. I'm going to try to, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. I'm going to try to get Sonic's story mode done today. Because virtually all the other story modes in this game are a lot shorter. I forget who's the shortest. I ta Tails is like the second longest. Come on, Sonic, get up here. Like, I think Amy's is the shortest. Because Gamma's is a little lengthy. It's about as long as Knuckles. I think Amy's is the shortest story mode. Yeah, like, here's the thing is, uh, with compared to the game, I'm gonna keep doing this, but I'm gonna try to tone it down a little bit just so we can keep moving on. But, like, 
in DX, they screwed up the ice texture here, where it, it is tran it's transparent in that one, which works, but here it's got this reflective sheen to it, and I don't know, it, it looks a lot nicer, in my opinion. There's a lot of situations like that where there's just a lot of pointless texture changing, like... Oh, that, that reflective sheen on all this stuff is just so nice. Alright, uh, ice cap. I was about to say snow cap. Even if you're frozen, jump a couple of times and you should be able to crack through. Oh yeah, the textures here are all very different as well. Like you can see, this wall texture is radically different. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll try to tone that down. Just the whole, like, look at this, look at this. It's just like... It, it does get annoying after a while, I get that. I just... I always find this stuff very intriguing. And uh, I'm obviously very enthusiastically excitable about it. I like this game. Whoa. Compare that to Ghost of Tsushima, <laughs> where uh, I am very unfamiliar with the game and... kind of just... putzing around. Oh, oh, I don't like that. There's like this audio effect. There's like a blizzard audio effect in the right stereo of the sound, and it feels like someone's breathing into my ear. I don't like that. Uh, what am I doing? I could just jump down here. That works too, I guess. Yeah, I don't like that effect. That that's Oh, that's creepy. It is effective though. If you if you, the best way I could describe it is it feels like someone's spraying cold ice on my ear. It doesn't feel that way in a temperature. But like the the audio sensation is the same. Like someone's spraying condensed air at you. Ah, oh, shit. I did an extra jump. Crap. Well, this place is gonna be a little longer. Hoping there'd be a spring over there, but nope. Sonic, grab onto the icicle. Grab onto the icicle, thank you. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I'm hearing scientific noises. Okay, I can just jump off this. There we go. The game can correct itself. There we go. Alright, yeah, that was a little annoying. Whoa! Oh, rad! Tails, where'd you go? Tails is dead. He died way back up there. He's now suffocated under the snow. Fairly linear, easy track. Just gotta control Sonic right. Ooh, ooh like I said, control him right. Okay.
Just just snowboarding on the sides of this mountain. It works. Don't question it. Everything's peachy keen. Everything's good. Alright, I need to line this one up right. Shit! That was not right. Oh, that's the last... That's, that's been a long time since I flubbed that up. That sucks. Just couldn't control him right. Oh, like that. Just like, now I'm stuck going backwards. Oh, yes. Balloons. Keep getting these like little tiny as sin little audio crackles from the Dreamcast. It's not it's not a crackle on my end, it's the Dreamcast making these little squeaky sounds. And it's not me hearing it outside my headset, it's in my headset. It's just like I'm hearing this little Just like Dreamcast. What are you doing? It's like scraping nails together, man. Yes, physics. Wonderful physics. Yeah, like right now I'm hearing it. It's just like, eh. I, w I wonder if that's the noise of the Dreamcast reading the disc being carried through the audio signal. That's weird. Time for Knuckles. There he is. There's Chuckles. With one of the best, one of the best theme songs in the game as well. Something bugging you? No time for game, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have right now. What? Let's just see you take them. Huh. And yes, that cutscene does do a weird spin dash sound effect. Instead of the DX version, which cut that for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, and also... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, just spam him. Give... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. The Chaos Emeralds. Oh, no. Ha, 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 ha. Like taking candy from a baby. That's a chaos emerald. Yeah, yeah, it is, you dumbass. That's right, fool. You made it all too easy. You practically gave them to me. Hold it right there, creep. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Yes. Hey, what about you? He didn't trick me. <laughs> now I have four lovely emeralds. I hate this boss. Chaos. It is not difficult. It's just you fight this stupid phase of chaos so many times. You fight him with Sonic. You fight him with Tails. You fight him with Knuckles. And if you play this game as many times as I have, you just learn to really hate this boss because it's so. Samey. Ah, oh, he transformed again. Man, no one ever cuts us any slack. All right, let's do this then. Chaos Four. All right, time. This is why the boss is boring. It's just repetitively jumping around, trying to dodge, and it's just uh, you're just playing leapfrog the whole time.
It doesn't even matter if you stand on the lily pads or not. You can just keep jumping in the water. Waiting, Chaos. Come on. Come on, dude. What you got? Gonna go one more time? One more time? Okay. Whatever you want. I feel like I'm waiting in a grocery store line. Just... The monotony. The monotony is real. Oh, uh, how did he hit me there? I didn't even touch anything and his effect hadn't even happened yet. Whatever. Still doesn't change the fact that I'm waiting. The blasted see-through fish. And here's where all the budget went. Not gonna lie, I'm still fairly impressed that they were able to do this. Like, this render... ...for this cutscene. That That is a very detailed... ...airship. And then it turns into a JPEG. It's not actually, it's a it's a model, it's just look how low res it is. Of chaos. Until we meet again, my friends. Then they just click and drag it across the screen. <laughs> Okay, Tails. L let's go, uh, let's go destroy the airship. I have some unfinished business to take care of. Okay. We'll take care of everything here. Come on! Let's get going! You can now play with Knuckles. Maybe I don't want to play with Knuckles. Maybe he's a jackass. Maybe, maybe... I bet if I played with him in Connect 4, he would cheat. Mr. Mitten Hands. Okay. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine with him in there. Well, he's he's dead. I bet he I, he he died. Tails fell fell down in his workshop and died. Why doesn't Hawaii have any airstrips like this, where it's like, it ri it, everything looks natural, but then it just kind of rises up in the palm trees, just kind of separate. That would be a fantastic thing to put in some, like, private installation in Hawaii. I'm saying gibberish at this point, I'm just, I'm, wa I'm waiting for this cutscene to progress. Okay, yeah, we're off to get the airship. Sky Chase Act 1 Sub Game I think it's a thing where if you just like cuz this is all on rails and you can't change how long the sequence is in any regard if i remember right you can kind of just like stay in the corner and nothing will happen to you really it's one of the corners i don't remember which one i'm going to try down here 
regardless, it doesn't matter if I even fight anything here. It's just... I'm stuck on a path. I don't have to play the game if I want to. <laughs> that's that's what this comes down to. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll play. Yep. No. <sighs> Come on. This is really monotonous as well, but it's fine. I do enjoy this a little bit. It's so it, I like the change-ups. It takes uh takes away some of the stress of the platforming levels a little bit. Can the camera cooperate? Thank you. Oh, I missed that one up there. Well, that's the end of the thing anyway, so... Yeah. We did it! Way to go, Tails! It just hit me, this game's 22 years old. I think this came out in 98 in Japan, so 23 there. Jesus Christ. It's weird because development for this game started on the Saturn. So, this game, from a development standpoint, you could argue that this game's even older than that. It's like... I think they started developing like 97? Like early 97 or something like that? Tails? Cause, Tails! Because the remnants of the engine for the Saturn version of this game is what was used for the 3D Museum World and Sonic Jam. You're not who I'm looking for. Whoa, his eyes spinned! His eyes spinning! Oh, I wonder if he's okay. That happened as well two years ago when I streamed it. His eyes spun like a freaking like... Lottery reel. Jeez. Some things never change, huh? Okay, so... I believe... I'm gonna have... Now it's Amy. I'm trying to think of the sequence of events. I need to find Amy. She should be in here. Sonic, wait up! Yep. Uh, uh, Amy. Back away slowly. You have a restraining order. Everything's fine. Listen, this birdie seems to be in trouble, so you need to be his bodyguard for a while. How about no? You must be kidding. If you don't, we're just gonna tag along anyway. Na 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 You got your meth? What? Amy. Amy, do we need do we need to have an intervention or something? Why did your theme song say you have meth? Look, if you're having some life problems, just, uh... You you're gonna need to call a therapist, and you're gonna need to, uh, try and get, you get yourself off these drugs. Please. Care for yourself. Zero. Look, Eggman's robot's on the loose. No problem. He's just a chunk of cheesy hardware. Whoa! Oh, 
Oh, now what? Huh? Look here. It says two couples get in free. Please no. Excuse me, ma'am. I I'm not. I, I need an adult. Amy. We can we cannot uh, go in there. Oh man, that girl is such a pain. Well, I guess we're going to Twinkle Park. Uh, thinking about levels. This is not one of my favorite levels for the whole game, regardless. It has a nice aesthetic. It's fun in that regard, but boy howdy, do I not care about actually playing this level. There's the last one. Hiding over here, huh? I'm gonna take your car. Yeah, I don't know. I, just, I don't. I find this this level isn't very hard. There's a part later in the level where you're just platforming up a castle, and it gets really tedious if you fall. And I have bad memories of that. <laughs> what? Did Sonic just blow up? Why did I blow up when I hit the monkey? Okay, we're gonna skip killing all of them. Whoop! Okay, we're, we're having some fun times here, I see. Uh, still, it seems like everyone wants to fight me anyway. And Sonic doesn't have any momentum for some reason. He just started up. He is dead. Sonic the Hedgehog is no more. God. Yeah, all the enemies here are starting to annoy me now. <laughs> I like how I say, I don't really care for this level, and now a lot of shit is just happening. Okay. Let's try to survive this time. I really don't know why that monkey blew up, uh, blew me up last time. Pretty sure you could just run into them and you'll be fine, but that didn't happen. Maybe it had to do with my momentum? Even then, I thought I still had some rings. Like that. I find it interesting, the, 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 the one-ups in this game... I like a 3D model of classic Sonic. That's weird. Smooth meteors. Smooth like potatoes. for the real part of Twinkle Park. The part that I'm not a fan of. <laughs> All right, let's let's get started on this then. Shoot it. There we go. I hate these things. I, I'm, I'm, I've mixed emotions about these things, really. It's like, I hate them on one part, but they're also nostalgic to me because they're classic. But it's just like, what the fuck am I looking at here? Look at this thing! I don't, I don't even know how to comprehend who designed that, and why, and how did that go down in the briefing room for, char for character designs? Like, they had to agree on this thing, and then whoever made this thing in the game, whoever animated this thing, had to, like, go along with it. I don't know how I feel about that.
Okay, this is the part I hate. I hate these rooftops to death. Because they transfer their momentum onto you, and sometimes you can fall off them. This is also a little touch and go. I'm not going to relax until I'm through this whole section and I'm at the end of the game. Well, end of the game. End of uh, this section. I never trust this ring thing that goes around the rooftop because sometimes I've fallen off of it because of it. So I'm just going to take the more secure route and run around it. Okay, there's the end of the level. <sighs> it did not fall. That is great. That does not happen often. Yes. Yeah, not bad. Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh, shoot. I've lost Amy. I bet that robot hauled butt after her. I'd better catch her before it does. It's so blue in this room. Magic keycard just appeared out of nowhere. The camera was struggling to get back to Sonic for some reason. Yes, thank you for the key card. I wonder what this says. I'm trying to read it. It's it's very dark in the game. Well, not very dark, but it's just like a blue hue because it's nighttime. Uh, yeah, it's too low res for me to read it, really. Come on, let me in, let me in, let me in. Thank you. Speed Highway. Up and all, up and round and all around, whatever the lyrics are for this. I never understand what the dude's saying. Whoa, I lost all momentum there at the very end for no reason. Okay. I don't trust myself to run along this uh, beam, so I'm just going to take the elevator. Okay, we're going to get to the bell tower? Almost. Up and down and all around, okay. Up and down and all around. What a wasteful spot for this power-up to be in. Don't get hit by the helicopter. Whoop! Ooh, 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 I did a bad, I did a bad. <laughs> okay, it just, it auto-pathed me back onto the... onto the track. I'm fine with that. Okay, we're gonna be risky today. I have no idea where this leads. Ooh, one-up. Worth it. Whoa. Extreme running. Look at this. Look at this insane motherfucker running down the side of a, su a skyscraper with helicopters inbound. Now he's inside. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Thank you. Didn't even get to. I didn't even let the song start up. Really, I, w I went too fast there. Yeah, not bad. Station Square, Adventure Field. Man, why don't we have games with adventure fields anymore? I know. I know that's just a joke. Just like I, I like the terminology advent. Adventure field. It makes it seem so serious. It's just like, this is the goddamn adventure field, motherfuckers. You better play in this 3D environment right now. Okay, so I believe we're gonna see Amy in the overpass back here. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Then we're gonna have to go to the Mystic Ruins, gonna chase her, find Zero Amy. there. Oh man! Where can she be? Then she's gonna be taken away and we're gonna have to... Sonic! Help! We're gonna have to go to Red Mountain. I'll yeah. cut him off at the Mystic Ruins! Yeah, the, the train workers were... Is the announcer not gonna say anything? Okay. I was waiting for him to say, the trains are now leaving the Mystic Ruins. It's just like, okay, whatever. But uh, yeah, the train workers were just on strike, and within just a moment's notice, they were done. They were like, eh, let, let's screw this strike, let's get back to work. The train workers go on strike so goddamn much in this game. <laughs> like, they, they must have some both very serious and very simple issues to do that on and off, like, whenever. Hey there, bolt brain! You better give Amy to me or I'll squash ya! I don't know why, but Zero's design always reminded me of that of, like, a dumpster. It doesn't look like it in any way, but just the weird... I don't know, when I see him, I just think of, like, a dumpster. It doesn't make any sense. Hey, what's happening here? Just reminds me of, like, a garbage truck. Ah, uh, yes, the giant flying penis is back. I love Shoot, I lost her again. I love the echo. Oh, that is fantastic. That is so good. All right, let's head to Red Mountain. Uh oh wait, actually Is it with No, that that's with Knuckles. I'm thinking of a different power up I need. The power up I needs over here right next to the thing I need to solve, because that, that is how this game is. It is very... It is approachable for children, because the thing is right next to the thing to do the thing. <laughs> good, good overworld design, Sega. Oh, look at me, physics! Yay! Alright, so anyone who's played DX will immediately notice something about this area. And that is there are a shit ton of pine trees here! Look at- I love this! Look how many pine trees there are here! These are all gone for some reason in the DX version. Just unbeknownst! I don't know why they tossed out all these pine trees. Even Angel Island has a ton of them on them. It's just like, why? Why did they remove the pine trees? Oh, this place looks ten times as great with these. It looks so barren without them. The Mystic Light. This is the ancient light. The ancient light. I think the Mystic Light is the one that was in. Actually, this, oh, the the, 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 the Mystic Light may be one for a different character in this game. It's either that or Sonic Adventure Two. But yeah, I I love these things. Look at them. I like trees. Okay. <laughs> and seeing a sh when I first played this for the first time years ago, after playing DX for so long, I came in here and was just like, holy shit! Look at all the pine trees. This is wonderful. I love these things. Like, look how much more full this whole area is with these. Hmm. 
Add with the weird mute, the tr the weird world music that's going on in the background. It's just like, hmm. And I fell off. This is why I have a lot of lives. Physics. If my, if my, if that, if the physics, me falling off the world, and the trees aren't enough to convince you why I like this game a lot. Look at Sonic right now. Look at this. This is why I like this game. It is so cheesy. It is so interesting. Okay, time for Red Mountain. This is a decent level, and it's pretty good. Yeah, Jimmy, just click and drag the model across the cutscene. That'll be good enough. You can do it in like 15 minutes? Okay, yeah, you'll get 50 bucks for that. Also, these bridges are brown in DX. I don't know why. They're supposed to be red like this. It's Red Mountain, for God's sakes. I was hoping I would make the cycle, but I didn't make the cycle, and I just somehow did not die from that. I'm trying to be very focused on all this, trying to get all the timings right. I flubbed that up, but somehow survived when I should have died the second time it slammed down. Whatever game, I'll take it. I'll take your, I'll take your leniency. It was very kind. Break it down for me! Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. Ruin the music with the speed shoes. Let's go! Oh, come on! Stop getting stuck on stuff, Sonic. Lava is rising. Get a shield in case I touch it. Saved my ass there, so that's fine. Yeah, so Red Mountain's a prison. These are ghosts back here of uh, dead souls, dead prisoner souls. And uh, yeah, we're currently in hell right now. Sonic Adventure, game for kids. Ooh, I'm stuck on the geometry. What was that hitbox on this thing? Okay, get up here. Why did the camera lock on to that enemy? Weird. Dodge. 
Dodge thread. Ooh, almost. I thread the needle, but that guy was there to screw me up. Hammers. This is not hammer time. Okay, and we're good. Whew. Yes. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, that wasn't bad. All the animals are still around. What is that? Is the platypus and the elephant merging? Hey, Sonic. Hey, Tails. Tails, I'm glad you're okay. Now, Jim, this is going to be a little bit more complex. You're going to need to clip. You're going to need need to make it look like Sonic jumps onto the plane and replace the model at the same time. If you screw this up, it'll look jank as shit, and we'll pay you a hundred bucks to get it right. Okay, I can do that. Like, that that animation is still pretty jank from Sonic jumping out of the plane. It, it, you can tell when the model changes. Well, when they subtract the tails by himself with the Sonic being on it model. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so yeah, we're doing this again. It's the last time this happens with, uh... In the Sonic campaign, we have to do it twice again with the Tails campaign. Which will be next time. I'm not going to do everybody in order for the story modes. I'm going to... I'm going to save Gamma for last. Gamma has a pretty good story mode. Next time will probably be Tails. If Tails... Because Tails is pretty much about as long as Sonic's campaign. If Tails somehow gets done early, I might squeeze in Amy. Because Amy's is... Probably an hour. Yeah, I want to say Amy's is maybe like an hour to 50 minutes or something. Uh, since I have time to kill here as well, because I'm just mindlessly shooting stuff. Uh, I did get one other record for Christmas, and that would be, if I can dodge all these bullets. Uh, God, what is it? It's right next to me. Let me move, Red Dead. Oh, I got uh, Queen's Greatest Hits, so I got some Freddie Mercury. So far, so good. Hope you know what you're doing. You bet. Watch this. That weird, like, blah, 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 bubbling rev cycle sound, whatever that was that the tornado just did. I had a toy, like a little, I, when I was a, when I was a wee bab, I had a toy with a fake phone on it and, like, keys and such. It was, it wasn't like a telephone, it was like a, uh, kind of like a walkie-talkie phone. And it had a key on it, it had three buttons on it, and one of those buttons made that noise. So, whatever stock site or company, just like whatever sound effects company Sega got that from, it's just like, I know that song, oh, that sound effect from something drastically different than what you used it for, Sega. It's funny, because a lot of sound effects in games are really old. That's something I've found out throughout the years, just the more games I play, the more sound effects I hear, and I'm just like, I... A lot of sound effects, actually, I have from from uh, a Casio keyboard. I think I might have talked about this key, this little synth keyboard a couple months ago during Ghost of Tsushima, but I have this, uh, actually, let me see if I can find it. It's, it's right. Yeah, so I found it, and yeah, so this synth keyboard, it's the Casio SA5. It has a bunch of pre-built-in synth songs and such. A lot of the song, like the tones... Just like a lot of these synth effects, I've heard in so many video games just used arbitrarily for like a sound effect or something like that. It's just like... I'm just like, I'm always, I'm always confused I'm like... I had a toy that did all these sound effects, and it's in like Gears of War 
four something. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? Okay, what do we got here? Do I remember how to play this? I haven't used this thing in a long ass time. Mmm, too high. What was it? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop fiddling around with this. Put it on the floor next to me and get back to the fucking game. Distractions. These sequences are fun. They're doable, but they're just. Eh, they're mundane. I get bored. Okay, at least it. I. Even to this day, I don't really know how this boss. Quote unquote boss battle works. Do I just keep shooting at the cannon and it just dies? Because at the same time, it seems like once it uses up its laser shot, it just loses the HP already. Like, the battle just kind of ends. So, whatever. I just shoot and I see what happens, and it, it just happens. We're getting close. Uh, close. Wow. We're getting close to the end of, uh... Sonic's campaign, anyway. We got a few more levels. Egg Carrier's about three-fourths of the way through. Alrighty, we're in! We gotta land on the Egg Carrier! We gotta land on it, man! Uh, I forgot something. What'd you What's forget? That? There's no landing gear in this mode. You say what? what? Oh, we're gonna die. Okay. Okay, Tails, uh, you, you, you crushed it. This thing is really huge. <laughs> no time to talk now. We need to find Amy. You're right, my friend. So here we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're all hyper because it's Sonic. I'm a little hyper today, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> He's gonna say the line. You haven't seen the power this vessel really has. Say the line. Get a load of this. Yes! He said the thing. Now let's talk about Sonic's stance. I don't understand fully why, like, what was Sega thinking when they did this? Like, what? why is he in this posture? He's like, squatting? He's like half squatting, flux, fluctuating his arms and hands rhythmically. It's just like, what is he doing? Why? must be the way to the sky deck every goddamn time regardless of version he always turns around during that little cutscene I will never understand why it does that it's always fun wow. time for a very good song in a level that's kind, it, this level is not too hard if it's being, if it's a good day, this level's not too hard. If it's a bad day, this, this level really sucks. It's funny, getting back on that synthesizer I brought up and, you, and played with for a bit. 
Uh, I've actually done my fair research because I had that toy. I had that synth as a kid, just as a toy, basically. But it's actually a real synth, and it, apparently, it's very popular with the modding Casio community. As I've researched, it's like really popular amongst weird Casio synth modders and shit. I'll never understand why. It's a good little keyboard. But uh, they like deck it out fully, they customize the crap out of it, they modify the sounds on it. And like a lot of DJs use it in their rigs and shit, and I'm just like, okay. Weird. Cool, but weird. I'm gonna jump down and skip this trash. Okay, if I can hit this right. Ooh, I just somehow kind of made it onto this. Normally you swing down. The game is chugging pretty hard here. There's a lot of stuff being rendered. And the Dreamcast is not as powerful as the GameCube in terms of that. The Dreamcast does have better audio output than the GameCube, though. Sonic Adventure makes that a lot more obvious compared to this game. Though there is one audio piece that is really screwed up in the original Sonic Adventure 2, which is the whooshing sound effect when you enter a level for the title card of the level. That is extremely compressed on the Dreamcast for some reason. It's it's not on the GameCube, but the Dreamcast version is really bad for some reason. Okay, this is the scary part of this level. Okay, okay, okay. We good? I think we're good. This part of the level is survive. That is all you need to do, is survive. Or else you will be immediately tossed off the ship. At the same time, the whole thing's collapsing as well. Please don't fall underneath me. Mm, fear. Okay. So far we have survived. Uh, I need you to face me, giant cannon. Please. Be a good cannon. Ooh, I thought I just died there. I raised an octave because of that. Oh no. Shit. Come on. To destroy a plane, you will rock it into a There we go. Okay. I have a lot of rings, actually. I didn't pay attention to that. Yes, someone had a fun day with those speed panels. Shoot me up. Here. Can I... cheese it? I think I cheesed it finally. There we go. Yeah! Skip that whole section of the level. I'm not gonna risk jumping down there directly. Had a little drink of water, and uh, I'm gonna continue here. These PCs are magenta for no reason. Gonna unlock the Chow Garden, even though I don't plan on using it at all. Such a genius word password, dude. 
Eggman. Cool. Alright, let's head up. And fight Gamma. I still, I still really question where that Chaos Emerald was. What is your wish, Master Robotnik? Because it wasn't in the tiny suitcase. I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the bird's little tiny suitcase. Because in there is just a photo. Time to fight this guy. I like Gamma more than Omega, honestly. Gamma has a better backstory and he's a he's a better character overall. Omega's just death destruction robot guy who has occasional quirks. But Gamma's a little Gamma's only in one game, but he's more fleshed out than Omega is. Yes, snap. He, he ran this far, stopped, and everybody, everybody's still here, wondering why, why Sonic is just... Sonic, weren't you chasing after him? Yes. Maybe. No. Why is... Why is Gamma's shadow purple? Weird. Okay. Auto recovery system activated. Okay, good for you, champ. If I remember right, there I think that there's something back here. Yeah. Secrets. I'm not sure if this is for... Knuckles to get this. There's an emblem in here, but I'm just like, I'm not sure if Knuckles is the one who has to get it. I face, this This umbrella has no collision. I can't even stand on top of it. Lovely. Uh, what can I, I'm trying to think, is there any way I can propel myself? Mmm, almost. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna try that a few more times. Just gotta get the timing right. Come on. I'm gonna try over here. I'll have more room. Ooh, that's it. Okay. So 
So this. No. Oh yes. I don't believe Sonic's supposed to get that emblem, but who cares? Break the rules. If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. Self-narrating to yourself, Sonic, is not a healthy sign. That is a sign of an anime protagonist. Ready? Go. This is a hell of a train. Uh, uh, it's like a train chair. Jeez. I'll give Eggman credit, he does have a hell of a sense of style. It's weird, it's quirky, and yet it's very interesting. Emergency alert has been cancelled. Resuming monorail operation. I love how I did that so fast it didn't even register that. <laughs> in the video of me going out that door. Lovely. Chaos? Again? Damn, he got fat. Oh no! Not again! <laughs> the way he said that! <laughs> Could this be the same beast? I see Froggy in there. <laughs> oh yes! Attack Sonic! No! Froggy? Froggy? I must say Froggy! I'm sorry, Duke Nukem, but friend, you can't. I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find. I even found Chaos's missing tail! You won't get away with this, you madman! I will! You're no match for Chaos! <laughs> I, I know this is all just kind of supposed to be very serious and okay, like, Chaos. I'm the evil man, you can't do this! I, I love Eggman's bluntness of just, I will! That'd be like Palpatine saying, no. To some Jedi scum or some shit. It's just like, oh, this is perfect. I love the cheese. No way. I can't believe this. <laughs> nice one, Eggman. You threw him right into no him way. again. Well, right into this. him unintentionally. Okay, I got another one. Give him here. The chaos fights are always very easy, it's just monotonous. It's just hit the thing, maybe he can run into that one? No, it, it didn't work that time. Uh, that one worked. Wait, kinda. Can I hit one of these? Thank you. No, I need I need that, Sonic. Pick it up. Avoid the weird spiny tentacles and the tail. Come on, reform back into your original shape. Thank you. Oh, he because I That sucks. Come on. I say this is an easy fight and then I keep flubbing up the last hit. No way. I can't believe this. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. That must be the work of karma, right? You say one thing and then you start to fail. No way! I can't believe this! 
Sonic. Knuckles. Hey there, Knuckles. Glad you finally made it. I thought you got lost or something. <laughs> what is this dialogue? <laughs> 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 why, why is that dialogue? Who wrote that into the script and thought that was good? I thought you got lost or something. Ah, oh, that's such shit. That animation's wonderful. Where's this? Trying to show me something. Yes, follow the light, Sonic. It shall lead you to the truth. Now you can play with Big. The recent emergence of that you can now play as Luigi meme from Mario Galaxy. That becoming a meme and it being f a slightly popular right now is just like when I can't not look at these now and think of that in the same vein it's just like oh you've unlocked a big you've unlocked gamma e101 gamma this is, aesthetically this is probably my favorite level in the game I love I love the ancient ruin stuff. I'm a sucker for things like this. As I have said many times in the Uncharted playthrough I did back in October. Added with this music, it's just like, oh god, this is wonderful. Oh, come on. That is not wonderful. This chameleon bot is defying the laws of physics. Another difference between this and DX is it's a lot brighter in this version of this level. It's a it's it's br basically as bright as day right now in here, where it's very dark in DX for some reason. I guess DX makes a little more sense. I don't know. I, I kind of like it being brighter in here. God, I love this music. That lost civilization tone with the strings and the piano and mmm. Mmm. Too early. Come on, Sonic, do it. Run. Yeah.
I keep thinking the mirrors are inverted for the controls, but they're not. Oh, what was that? Oh, that sucks. Not saying I'm not surprised that happened. I, I was trying to avoid that, but it's just like, ah, oh, damn it. Smidge quicker. So I don't fall off here again. Okay. I hate that when the camera shifts, you have to go with it. Okay, don't get hit and don't fall off, because you can fall off here if you're being stupid. Open up. Okay, now for the fun room. Oh, thanks for that, bud. You can tell I'm trying to focus. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> it's because the physics in this whole level are a little... touchy. Very specific. Don't go too fast. Ooh. Bad timing on that one. That should be the end of it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I really like that level. It's a little... You have to really learn the inside and outs of some of the physics and movement, but it's... It's a solid level. I'm a little annoyed I died once in there, but it's doable. And you can actually see it in this version of the game because it's bright in here. Time to time travel. Back to the future. To the past. To help the future. What's this place? I don't know, but your teeth Where are still sparkly white. This is really weird. And the, uh... I'm not sure if it's just because it glows, but the, uh, the light ring doesn't really... <laughs> what was that? The light ring doesn't... isn't affected by the lighting here either. What was that? Twitch again. Do it. Do it again, Sonic. Come on. You know you want to. No, he doesn't want to. Whatever. I've seen a lot of fucked up things in my days. Chow Genocide is not one of the ones I expected to see. 
Oh, the humanity. Why? Why does this have to happen? I don't know, lady. All those Black Friday shoppers, they, they just kept trampling over the little ones. Okay, cool cutscene. I think that's the only one Sonic himself sees in this game. <laughs> what was that all about? I don't know, man. You just passed I'm out in this ancient here. ruin. I'm surprised you didn't die down there. Hmm? Eggman! Eggman! What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good! Too fast. Come on, let me in! Why, uh, I'm just like ever so slightly to the right. Yeah, this is a cool area. I always wanted as a kid to try and get into these tanks to try and like see them closer. You can kind of nudge the camera sometimes to do that, but in my experience with this, with the Dreamcast version, it's a little more difficult. Yeah, Metal has, uh, Metal's eyes are even red in this. Huh. Uh, th th everyone's favorite puzzle. No, I have not memorized this. We're gonna be here for a while. Maybe? Nope, got it. Ah, uh, yes. J just say, j say, say something horrible that, like, I'm not gonna be able to do this. And then you'll get it. If you say, like, oh, I know how this works, you're not gonna get it. Downplay reality. Always downplay reality. Wow. <laughs> okay then. I think I'll get some rings this time. There, th exactly. Oh, come on. Hey, let go. Uh, go, come on. Ah. Just leave me alone, level, please. Ah, oh, that sucks. The placement of that claw, really bad. Come on. Why am I getting hurt by everything in this level? Come on. Why? I homing attacked him. Seriously, am I gonna have to use my iframes on this thing? I didn't even have a ring that time. Whatever, whatever, let's keep going. Missed the speed pad there, and now I'm kind of—I'm actually kind of stuck up here. Yeah, this is this may be the worst time I've ever done this level. Jeez, that was shit. Okay. Whoa. 
what are cameras? Authentic question about this game. What are cameras? This may be the funkiest theme Eggman's ever had. Didn't even see them. There's not really any kill planes here unless you fall below, so you can kind of just jump in here at your own will. Let me in. Oh, what the hell? I'm blaming the camera on that one. Like, wh what is this camera? Come on, stop doing that. Jeez, I'm trying to focus. Game, stop trying to kill me. Please. I'm trying to beat you. We can't, we can't, uh, we can't beat the game if you don't cooperate. Oh, you're coming out of the little tubes in the wall. On, stop hitting him. There we go. Oh, what is this camera? God, this is like Super Mario 64 quality. Ooh, thank you. Okay, where's the exit in here? Camera, please. There it is. Let me out. At this point, the designers were just throwing enemies wherever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> There's just enemies all over the place. Including uh, Tails doll here. I'm gonna get that just in case. I don't trust this level anymore. Crap! Okay. Uh, is that the end of that? Okay. Jeez. Yeah, not bad. Okay, we at the final boss then? Yep. There he is, this giant penis cannon. Well, if it isn't my pal Sonic. 
You know, it does look like a dick. You got the, you got the flaccid penis and then the two balls to his left and right up there. God, it even thrusts. It goes in and out. Eggman, you, you need to uh, not have phallic design in your machines, please. Anyway, this boss can be either a real pain in the ass or a really simple thing. Oh, he's just sitting down there. And then he spawns into place. Get a load of this! Get a load of this! Get a load of this! Okay. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Come on, man. It's a waiting game. See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Get a load of this. Get a load of this! Okay. Here we go again. See if you can make it through here, Sonic. Get a load of this! Get a load of this! Get a load of this! Okay, he's shifting attack. No use. Give up. <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. <sighs> Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. I'd make a joke about him saying that so much, but he says it so much it it does it itself. I don't even have to do anything. I jumped too early! Ooh. Okay, I was scared for a second there. Okay, he's going on to his next phase. He's destroying stuff. Lovely. I love that eh for a second there, he did. It's like, wait, wait a minute. He's not supposed to get on top of my arm. He's not gonna get away with wait, too early. <laughs> it's no use. Give up. No there we go. We're not done yet. He's gonna do one final thing, and this is always a 50-50 chance. I don't know where he's gonna jump. Watch out. He's up to something. Uh, yeah, and I'm scared, because I don't know what he's doing. I took a risk and jumped away from him. And that's that. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. So Eggman is dead. Angel Island blows up and Station Square is invaded by Godzilla. That is the end of Sonic Adventure. No, okay. Do a stretch. Yeah, that took what? Two ish hours, I think? Something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, Tony Harnell. The only music he's really known for and has a sad life because of that. No, no. <laughs> He's, he's, he, he's remembered very fond. He's still alive. It's not like he's dead, but he's, he's remembered very fondly for these songs. I don't understand this, though. I think Sonic's trying to, like, lip the words to the song, and I didn't know that as a kid. And then later on, as I kept playing this game, I was like, wait. 
Is that Sega trying to line up Sonic singing the song? Oh, that is some cheesy shit. And it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah, I cut ahead of the credits because I'm not going to sit through it seven times. So, uh, yeah, we're, when I play through this game, it's going to be seven credits because you got the six characters and then the final credits as well. So I'm just going to, I'm going to cut through the credits just to save some time and some sanity. But, uh, yeah, that's Sonic Adventure Sonic Story. It's short, concise, fine. And next time... We shall do Tales, and maybe, Amy, if there's extra time. So, yeah. So if you have uh, watched through this, thank you for watching. And I hope you continue with, uh, with me on this adventure. Options. Look you at the options menu. Options. I can file change the VMUs. Selective. Selective. I'm not going to do that. Select a memory card. Wait, can I? Oh, Select. I'm actually locked into this. Yeah. Select. So let me just choose the the, the file I had before. File. Weird. Yeah, weird. Whatever. Select yeah. So next time we'll do tails. Maybe Amy. Knuckles is gonna have to be his own thing as well. Big, I have no idea. I've never really had problems with Big in this game, as a lot of people do. I probably just squandered any hope of me having a normal time with him for the story campaign. And Gamma's a pretty good time. So, yeah. See you next time, and have a good night. My voice cracked while I was saying that. <clears throat> Have a good night. See you later.